What does an old zinc plate, an iPhone, polyvinyl acetate, foam core, a shredded drawing of a bird, and a drawing of a suspended bathrobe all have in common? Stay tuned and you're going to find out. So how do you make a bird look like it's flying out of a bathrobe when they're two completely different drawings? My solution was to tear the titmouse completely out and place it on top of the bathrobe. But simply placing the bird on top of the bathrobe seemed kind of boring. I needed to create some further dimension. So my solution to that was to create a structure of foam core on the back of the bird that would raise it up off of the drawing surface. Oh snap! This was totally unplanned and caught on camera. The, the polyvinyl acetate is basically like a glue, and when I pressed on the foam core, the glue went right through the paper and actually stuck to the cardboard that was underneath. So what you're seeing here is my attempts to actually separate the bird from the cardboard that it's sitting on. Yeah. Oh, look at that. My drawing is tearing. Now, instead of fretting over mistakes like this whenever I make art, my philosophy is that a lot of times the mistakes are going to be some of the most exciting elements to your drawing. So I figured, hey, let's just keep moving forward and see what this thing looks like. And that's exactly what I did. And the interesting thing is I never would have thought of placing paper on top of the bird, but I like it and I'm glad it happened. Okay, here goes nothing. Once I place this thing on the drawing, there's no turning back. This is like an all or nothing deal. Add some weight, let that dry, and now on to the next part of my concept where I'm adding foam core to some of the remaining torn paper so that I can then place those on the drawing. You see, one of the challenges here was to create the illusion that the drawings belong together and that the bird was actually coming out of the bathrobe. So my concept was to have the bird bursting through this conceptual barrier of paper. And I just like the whole torn paper look and feel, so that's what you get. Now that everything's in place and glued, Let's see how we did. All of the ideas, all of the submitted votes, it's come down to this, and here's the final product. And as you can see from some of the cast shadows, we have that third dimension going on with the handmade paper. Here on the tip of the wing, you can see the torn drawing solution. Thank you everyone who has participated in this project. I had a blast, and whether or not we had a good outcome, you can be the judge. Thanks again, this is Judah signing off, and I'll see you next time.